Okay. Yeah, yeah, stay away from me. <laughs> Don't let my whatever negative juju come on, on, on to you. Okay, so we've got now again this kneecap. So now this is more for if you want to come from the side thinking you're, you're really having a tracking issue. Now I, am, I just am about to start a podcast that talks about do we really have tracking issues. It's, it's, I got to listen to it first. But what I think what we know happens is we get abnormal pull, right? I, I feel like that's whether this actually totally tracks abnormally. I mean, I think there's probably some cases when we see that, yes, there's this really tilted up patella. There's probably going to create now crepitus and a rub laterally. But is that because there's trigger points here? lack of weakness here, like what's really happening right neuromotorly. But if you really think that there is this tight retinaculum or this tracking issue where you're getting this overloading here, you could take that same technique, come right into the patella and hug it around this way, almost like you're encouraging it to go medially, okay? Now, I still think part of that treatment would be like some dry needling, some soft tissue work here, some scraping techniques, things like that to sort of clear that out. And then, of course, the neural rehab and strengthening piece of the quadriceps, the glutes, the hamstrings, right, to figure out, well, why is that happening in the first place? And calf, right, doing calf and soleus work. So this is also an option depending on what you think is happening. So that would be more of I'm having pain because of a tracking, potential tracking issue or abnormal forces versus it hurts right there, okay?